Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome to it if you've never been here. Today we are doing an all Trader Joe's pamper routine. So I'm having a bit of a pamper day with only Trader Joe's beauty products. You guys know that most of their beauty products have been hit or miss for me. A lot of these I was trying for the first time and a lot of things I actually liked. So stay tuned to see what products I used, how I liked them, and my just overall pamper routine. So as usual, we're starting out by setting the mood. I'm lighting this mango tangerine candle. I love these little soy tin candles. We always have one in the bathroom. And this one smells exactly like the volcano candle from Anthropology, but it's literally like, I think $3.99, $2.99. It's so affordable, it's incredible, and I am obsessed with it right now. So I lit that just for some ambiance. <music> Then we're hopping straight in the shower to get going and so I'm just turning on the shower here. Normally during a pamper routine I would probably take a bath but I had a lot of um, shower products I wanted to use and I'm going to be washing my hair with the new Trader Joe's shampoo bar. It's got peppermint and tea tree in it. it. I'm actually going to be uploading an entire dedicated review on this so stay tuned. But in this video was my first time using it. It just looks like a bar of soap. If you don't know what a shampoo bar is, it's essentially a shampoo but in like bar soap form. So some people love it, some people aren't as into it. I personally love my Lush shampoo bars so I was so excited to try this. The packaging is very eco-friendly. It's great for travel if you don't want to bring another cream or liquid with you. So basically you just lather it up in your hands like you would a soap and like I said I'm going to be doing a dedicated review where I'll get much more into it. We'll have time to talk about everything but my first impressions were I, I liked it pretty much. I will give you all the pros and cons in that video um, but I will say a con of it was it's pretty drying just as normal like bar soap is for me. Personally I don't like bar soap because the second I rinse it off there's just an overall dry feeling to my body and that is exactly how my hair felt. Um, but it does get a nice lather even though there's no sulfates in it and just the more soap you use obviously the better lather you'll get. But what I did love is this Nourish Spa Conditioner. I have never used this before. It's safe for color treated hair, which is cool. Um, I did go way overboard on the conditioner. My husband who was filming was like, uh, whoa, what are you doing? But I did really enjoy that conditioner. And I also really did enjoy, I already finished this. This is a little sample size, but they're um, three in one shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. I haven't used it as a shampoo or conditioner, but I loved it as a body wash. And then I shaved my legs. You guys already know that I am obsessed with the moisturizing cream shave and honey mango. I am, this stuff is $3. It works better than any shave cream I've ever used. It's so moisturizing and I completely love it. So I shaved my legs and probably my armpits in the shower, just in case you were curious. And then this is something else that I am totally loving. I have used this before. I'm somebody who likes to make my own salt scrub, but this one is a very affordable one. Easy access right at Trader Joe's. It's the lavender salt scrub. I thought it kind of looked like a margarita. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like a blended margarita, but it smells so good. And the best part about this is that it's so moisturizing. It honestly makes your shower a little bit slippery, so be careful next time you step in because you will go flying, but it is so moisturizing on your skin you almost don't need a lotion when you get out and you smell really good of lavender and obviously it's super exfoliating. But I did follow it up with this cucumber avocado body butter, which I like the body butter formula from Trader Joe's. This one smells really good. Um, I'm still kind of using it and trying it out. I don't have a full opinion yet, but it does smell really nice. Then I get out of the shower, get dressed, and it's time for some skincare. So I'm starting with just wiping my face off with these cucumber and citrus face and body wipes. I really like these. I have um, a box of them in my office, like in my vanity, and then also in the bathroom. They're just great for like wiping off swatches, cleaning up something really quick. If Ludo needs, I need to wipe down his paws or something, they just are kind of multi-purpose wipes. So I wipe down my face. Then you guys know that I love the natural facial cleansing pads with tea tree oil. I use these every single day. They're just these little saturated pads. They smell really strongly of tea tree oil and they work great. They even get um, any like dirt or makeup off that may be lingering. They help keep my breakouts at bay and I love it. It does tingle your face a little bit because of the tea tree but I think it feels really good. Then I'm just letting my hair down and as you can see it is a little bit dry from that shampoo bar um, but I am just going to throw it up in a bun. I often do this when I'm like doing skincare and I'll brush it in a minute. I'm going to be using the Rich Hydrating Face Sheet Mask. 
I actually really like sheet masks. Um, this one, to be honest, I don't, I didn't really have like a big opinion about it. Didn't love it, didn't hate it. It did feel nice and moisturizing. It didn't break me out and it's very affordable. Um, so I'm just kind of placing that. It's terrifying to look at, I know. Um, but then I did decide to use my Foreo, Foro, I never know how to freaking say it, the UFO 2. It's like a activated mask thing where it heats up, it has LED light and you're supposed to use it with like sheet mask type stuff. So I was, I wanted to try it over this and I loved it. So after about 10 minutes of it sitting, I peeled it off and discarded that. And it does feel really nice. It didn't feel too sticky, which is something I can't stand about sheet masks. So I guess overall it is a win. I am putting on a little bit of lip balm. I don't have a Trader Joe's one, but I still needed some lip balm. Then we're going to brush out this dry rat's nest, which I needed my detangler, another cheat. It's not a Trader Joe's product, but I love the sexy, healthy hair detangler. And I'm using my Tangle Teaser to just brush through it. And I'm not gonna lie, this was a very unpleasant experience compared to what it's normally like to brush my hair out with no the normal shampoo and conditioner I use. Um, so I don't know if it's the shampoo bar or the conditioner, but it just was a little bit harder to get through my hair, but I did. Then I'm going in with some eye cream. This is the Supreme Hydrating Eye Cream. I've been talking about this a lot on my channel lately. I totally love it. It's very hydrating and it's like $6, I think, at Trader Joe's and I've just been enjoying it. So I'm just gonna put that under my eyes, all around my orbital bone. I do get dry eyelids, so I'm making sure to get it on there as well. Then another product that I actually really liked is their 100% organic argan oil. First of all, the packaging, this box is beautiful and the bottle itself has like that foiled gold on it and I thought it was so pretty. You guys know I am a big fan of face oils and this can be used for all sorts of things, body oil for your hair to make DIYs, all sorts of things because it's just pure argan oil but I like to put oil on my face, usually before bed, um, but since we we're having a pamper day, I decided to put some on. This was super moisturizing. I could totally see this being a part of my um, rotation of my face oils, especially because it's very affordable and it's right there at Trader Joe's, so I totally loved that. I left it at that for today, but if it was closer to bedtime, I would have put on the Watermelon Overnight Face Mask. This was a summer item. I actually like it okay. It's not like my favorite thing, but I don't not like it. It's a fun overnight mask. Um, that's It's very gel-like, but it's very hydrating. Something I don't care for is this Watermelon Facial Mist. I wanted to love it because the packaging is cute, which that's so superficial. But. I do not love this. I don't like it on bare skin. I don't like it on top of makeup. I find it very itchy. I find it to be sticky and it's just not my favorite, but I sprayed it on for you anyway. And yeah, I just wanted to give you an overview of what my skin looked like after all of that. The oil and the sheet mask I felt like made it super hydrated and glowy. And once all my skincare was done, I followed up with some Strawberry Lemon Ultra Moisturizing Hand Cream. For some reason, I was expecting not to like this. I actually really, really like it. It's not greasy, smells really good, and I am a fan. So yeah, guys, that is it for my Trader Joe's pamper routine. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was just a quick little look, um, and I will continue to update you on how I feel about these products and uh, favorites videos and other routine videos and all that. But thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.